Come here, Splash. Come here. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Poor Splash. If you're over here, you're in the frame. See, this good is why girl. she resents me. Yeah, good girl. Does better. I know, it's okay. You're good. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Can you see that her at all? face she's no, killing you. You're very good. Oh. Good girl. Dogs. <laughs> Welcome to the latest Watercolors Aquarium Gallery video brought to you from the Aquarium Rush Studios in beautiful downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today we're going to talk about one of the latest trends in aquarium keeping, and that's rimless aquariums. Mm. Trend I'm thankful for. Look at these tanks. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Rimless tanks have been around for a long time. They just only started to gain mainstream popularity in the last few years. There's a reason for that they're popular, and it's because they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The black rim tank has always been the standard tank in uh, the United States, but in other places, rimless tanks have been around a while. And it's, it's a new focus on, if we're gonna spend all of this time and energy making the inside of the tank beautiful, why not start with a tank that's beautiful on the outside too? So the first question I get asked a lot is, how come these are more expensive than the black rims? So let's start there. <laughs> yeah. So. Plastic is cheaper than glass, and when you use a reinforced black plastic frame, you can use thinner glass. So it's more expensive because it's more expensive glass. Additionally, a lot of the tanks, like the ADA in front of me, are made out of a low iron glass. What that low iron means is um, it's a clearer glass. There's less in the way. If you look at the side view of a standard black rim tank, you're gonna see that classic green color. Mm -hmm it's less prominent in a lot of the rimless tanks. Um, so we are carrying four different lines of rimless tanks right now. And that's really not a matter of, these are the four lines we think are the best. Right now, it's simply these are the four lines we can get our hands on. Yeah, and these are the tank sizes we kind of thought were cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's not a whole lot of, we carry this one because it's so good. Well, except for this tank right here. <laughs> this one <laughs> <we> can <laughs> of what it is. Um, but the other ones we're carrying right now, we've got the standard Sephora. These Nothing are, wrong with that tank. For the price, especially when we're talking about rimless tanks, these are really high quality and I've been really impressed with them. The seams are still really clean, the glass is still really clear, um, but they're just a little less expensive than some of the other brands. Yeah. The silicone is, the, is one of the things to pay attention to, and there are some other brands out there that we won't mention that we've seen, and you can just see the silicone is a little bit sloppy. Yeah, slathered. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna hold water. They're gonna be just fine. This is just a little bit of an upgrade from that. Mm -hmm. These two tanks are made by Aquarium Masters, which is a company that manufactures under a number of different names. Um, the Lifeguard Crystal Series actually mm -hmm. is from what we can tell, the exact same tank as this one right here. The main difference between these two lines, the 45 degree angle on the seam. And I love that. It just looks so crisp and you can barely see any silicone on them. These and the lifeguards that we've had both have that 45 degree seam. And I think it's worth looking out for if you're browsing just random tanks somewhere because it does make a difference. It makes for a gorgeous tank. Mm -hmm. So what makes manufacturing that fun. It's definitely more of a challenge. You've got to cut glass at a 45 degree angle, which I've cut glass. I can't do it. I don't actually honestly don't know how it's done. But what that does do is if that's at a 45 degree angle, you're getting that much more surface area to buy. So it's a little, it's not just aesthetically better. It is a little bit more of a stronger seam. Now I've never seen one of these with the regular seams bust out right. in that. So it, it's not really something to worry that much about, but it is it is a little better. And then the other thing that you can do with the 45 degree seam, you get a little bit less of the, the finger line, for lack of a better way mm -hmm. to call it, right? Where they 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 get that, that smooth edge in the middle. There's just less of that. There. Yeah, more of the silicone is sort of sandwiched in between those double yeah. edges. Yeah. Now I have a very hard time deciding between that beautiful 45 degree seam and this guy right here. Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think the trade off here, at least for me, you're making us, and to my eye, this seems like clearer glass. Mm -hmm. 
but the mm -hmm. seam on this is just so smooth. <laughs> it's uh. yeah, and the the glass itself on this tank is sort of a beautiful thing on its own. Right. Just the panels. This is the ADA tank, um, and as if we're looking at up here, you can we can see the difference in the glass that's used in this one. It is. It's it's prettier. It's also, and I I fully admit this. You're paying for the name. Yeah. It's Aqua Design and Mono is what ADA means. And Takashi Mono is the founder of that company. He is, by many accounts, the founder of modern aquascaping. And so and, and everything that Takashi Mono did, he did it without sacrificing quality. And the, the tanks show that. They are they are built absolutely beautifully. Uh, yes, it is a more expensive tank. And part of that is simply because it's got the logo on it. Mm -hmm. You're not sacrificing anything. It's not like you're paying extra for the name. You are paying for an extremely beautiful, well-made quality tank. Yeah. Uh, my counterpoint to that would be, I mean, you, you're paying to have a Ferrari. Right. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we are, we're suckers for a good name here. <laughs> we are, it's true. And, and this, the good philosophy. A, yeah. Yeah, so we're willing to support that wherever we can, and yeah. I have one of these at home. I don't have one of these. I think that kind of says something there. <laughs> it really does. Ah, that 45 degree scene. I though. know. It yeah. was actually a, a tough choice. I actually considered one of these too because, like, genuinely, construction-wise, they're they're pretty darn similar. Mm -hmm. But eh. it's ADA. Yeah. 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 It's... Our showpiece aquascaped high-tech aquarium here mm -hmm. is one of the 45 degree tanks. Yeah. So if you want to come in and check them out, we've got them in the gallery. You can get a close look at them. See what you think. I'm really curious to see like what's better to you, the ADA name and this beautiful quality glass or that 45 degree angle that's just got a gorgeous scene. You know, or you think we're nuts and we're splitting hairs and these ones are just the same anyway. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'll accept that. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. spend too much time looking at glass around here. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we have definitely been stocking up on these rimless tanks, and you guys have been coming in and getting them. So let us know what sizes you're looking for, too. Always looking to get in a specific or a fun size for somebody. I think that's great. But uh, we've got the ones that we think are cool already. Yeah. They do come in some different unique shapes. They, are, they do make a cube. That bookshelf design, which is a it's a really long, narrow, and short tank. I think we had like a 24 by like, I think six? I think it was eight by yeah. eight by 24 inches. Very, very cool. Yeah, tank. there's some does, really does cool Does ADA stuff. make a bookshelf tank? ADA does not make a bookshelf tank. Dang. ADA <laughs> makes their, 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 what they call their cube garden, which is yeah. not actually a cube, and they make their actual cube tanks. Okay. And those are the two styles. Mm -hmm. okay. This has the golden ratio. So, so um, yeah, let us know what takes you're running at home. Maybe you're just running a standard black rimmed box, and I'm still interested in hearing about that. Um, subscribe to see more videos like this. Give us a like. Give us a follow on Instagram or Facebook, or check out the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery podcast. And let's have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. We keep those hands wet. Did I just bump your foot? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs>